Hey guys, so I am going to show you how you can create the fastest and on brand cookies pop up on your page. It's super, super easy. I'm personally using Kajabi as my web provider for my website, but you can, it doesn't matter what you use because this is just a simple script. So this is what it looks like. I've actually deleted it, but I had this window from when I sampled it. So if I refresh, you can see that it's gone. And so I'm gonna show you how to put that in. So the first thing that you wanna do is go to wherever your site settings wants you to put your page script in. In the case of Kajabi, Lucy, my dog, is gonna be walking in here tap dancing, so I'm sorry for her little cute, adorable little feet. Um, what I'm gonna do in here is actually go to my settings in Kajabi, site details right here. Um, your code might be different depending on what you use, but you can just look that up according to what you use, whether it be WordPress or Squarespace or wherever. Um, so under site details, I just scroll down to page scripts right here, and then I'm actually going to increase this so I know and see what I'm doing. So where you're gonna grab your cookies script is open a new browser, and what I look up is cookiesinfoscript.com. Once I'm in there, it's just on their main page, you can just scroll down and the script will just be right there. So this is the first one that they have. This one will give you a, their standard one and you um, will add the code before the closing body tag in your website. Um, but if you keep scrolling, this is the customization option. So there's all of this, but then their example right here makes it so easy. So I can just copy this exact one, and I'll show you how I made mine. Copy that exact one, add it in here, and then all I do is change my hex codes to the colors that I actually want to use. So I can open my brand guide, and that is giant, and I'll grab my hex codes, which are right here and choose the colors that I want. So if I want it to kind of, I like it when it kind of blends a little bit more in the background so it's not so obnoxious. So I can go in and change my background color here to that hex code, uh, my foreground. Um, let's see, I want that to be, that's basically your text. So I'll grab like my text color, the link um, and change that. Uh, I also sampled these so that you can see what they actually are. So if you open like Canva or Photoshop or whatever, you can put in those hex codes and see what the color is that, that automatically generates. And their color scheme is pretty neutral, so that's nice. Um, where am I, where am I in preview? Okay, so then I can grab the colors that I actually want these to be. Whoops, link. Then I'm good to go. I do know that the one thing that is missing from this though um, is the button color. So this was their example. This basically um, gets everything covered, but if there's something in here that's missing, you can look for it in here and just plug that um, code in. So I'm just gonna, I mean, I can see that it's right here. So, or you could command find and, um, say button and then find it in there. But um, where am I? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so button background color, uh, that's the one I want to change. So I can highlight that and um, copy it, come over here and paste it. So I can just enter, whoops, data, um, Div link background, and this is button background color. So it's gonna say equals, you wanna say, just like how these are set up. So basically, you just get rid of everything there, say equals, and then you're gonna have that color. And you can see just by based off of those trends up here, you just want it to look exactly like that looks. So the code is there, you're gonna say equals, and then, um, your quote marks, <laughs> can't think of what they're called right now. I actually want it to be the same code as my um, link here. Say, uh, that should work, so let's see. Say save, and then if I go to my website, 
then it is there. Yep, so that made it that salmon color and it used to be a yellow color for there. So now it's um, the colors that I wanted. It kind of blends with my website, so it's not like super obnoxious uh, and it looks nice and it's nice and minimal. So that's all. If that was helpful, please be sure to do all the things that YouTubers say and subscribe and stuff. But seriously, you should because I like to give you guys some help. So I'll see you next time.